What's up guys? So Arc Age Classic, the private server has an official date now for the launch, August 4th, 2023. So get ready for that. And I know a lot of people are really hyped on this. I will not be playing personally, uh, but let's take a look at what they are changing. So here's the original stuff that they talked about, day one or day zero patch. So the big change is the labor. So you're gonna get 40 labor points every five minutes. So a huge, huge change for Arc Age. Uh, this also, it's so difficult to talk about this because this speeds up progression significantly. And it also means you're gonna have too much labor and you're pretty much forced to go into coin purse grinding because that's the only way to really efficiently burn all the labor. And it kind of throws out all the whole like silver per labor ratio stuff. It's like, you don't really do the best activities anymore. You do, what you can do to burn off all of this labor. This is a lot of labor. They did also increase the ca increase the cap uh, from 5,000 to 10,000. So that's a nice change, but you're still gonna get labor cap really quickly. You're gonna see a lot of people that are progressing uh, tax certs and making uh, houses getting up, up to 230,000 proficiency in that to get tax certs that are tradable and sellable. So those will be very, very easy and quick to get. They will be dirt cheap in uh, you know a couple of weeks once people get up to that proficiency level. They also have a big change on the Perdita statues. So these are reduced from 1,000 gold to 500, and their payout will be handed manually by mod raiders. So that's a very cool thing. They're going to monitor this, make sure that it's not as abused as it was in uh, retail in the real version. The Aurora content will not be accessible for the first 14 days. So this is a very interesting change, uh, but that's what they're doing here. 14 days, Aurora is locked. This promotes activity and the continents and the oceans, promotes PVP in regions like Hasla for faded token gear. Um, experience rates increased. It's a 200% in increase in experience rate. So once again, uh, cap. I don't believe there's ancestral levels. I, I, this is a you know custom version of Arc Age. So I, there could be ancestral levels. Back in the original launch, there was no ancestral levels. So again, post it down below. Is there ancestral levels, or is it just capped at level 50 or 55, depending on which you know version they're going to? PVP in the library has been enabled on floors two and three. Uh, neutral guards will now be neutral to all, even pirates. Event changes, honor changes. So honor changes, the honor rate has been increased uh, by 100%. So we're going up to 200%. This may increase to 400% per release. So this is going to be very important. Honor points are very, very valuable and kind of like a must get. The six castle zones in Aurora will be at war and grant honor when fights happen there. Gemming stats will be changed. They are currently being calculated. So they're adjusting the gems. So we don't know. Maybe they're not as valuable as they used to be because gemming was very, very powerful back in Arc Age. So everything pretty much with Arc Age Classic being a private custom server is going to be different, right? So a lot of old guides and tutorials and tips are not going to be valid for this server because of the different progressions and changes that have happened on this. So yes, there's tons of old videos out there, but you really want to listen and watch, you know, guides and tutorials on Arc Age Classic server videos. Like you don't really want to look at the old stuff. It can be a guideline, a baseline of this stuff, but you don't really want to look at the things because if the stats of the gemming are changed so significantly that it's not, you know, as good as it used to be, then it, yeah, it's like, okay, those aren't a real big priority. And now the fact that you get uh, honor points in Aurora as well, also, you know, player trading, win kill trading, etc., can definitely happen. And we'll see how that's patrolled or bought it or uh, if that is monitored. So that was always an issue of like, you know, just killing each other, kill trading. That's a sticky, sticky topic there and definitely needs to be monitored and patrolled, but we'll see what happens. Skill changes, you got abyssal skills as a whole are disabled. Uh, transformation racials are disabled. So very, very custom patch, right? This is not the original Arc Age Classic. This is changing things pretty significantly. Uh, dungeon changes, vocation changes, old fishing has been restored. Pools now last a set duration and have a predefined fish type. They're Darapedia will explain all the changes involved. The blue salt trade run quest has been adjusted. The trade requires trade pack will not require materials that are gated behind combined feed. 
And then miscellaneous, all the green storyline quests have been reworked. This means the same leveling speed for all races and gear coming from the green quest. The normalization ends in Halcyona, where all the main storyline quests converge. Loyalty tokens will be granted on a different schedule. Five on login and three times one per hour. Uh, three times three per hour. So they're changing it. It's now going to three times three per hour. It doesn't look like you get any for logging in anymore. This looks like what they're changing there. The FOV mod is included by default. The rankings ranges for some events have been changed. Mirage Fishing, Blue Ribbon Contest, Wall, and Grant Rewards up to 500 players, down from 5,000. Um, changing that because they know they're not going to have you know 10,000 players or 100,000 players. So they have to rework these down which is perfectly acceptable and fine skill reset cost has been lowered new price 18 copper times player level times number of skills 9.9 .9 per skill poor at 55 so it looks like 55 is a cap maybe and then also let's look into what else they have going on now because they did give a little bit of updates uh news so we got here we go news the announcements is this it open beta weekend is 7 7 to 7 10 uh, that has already passed now. July 7th, 10th, this is the latest. Get all the good stuff. So content creators, they are highlighting content creators, and there are several content creators for uh, Arc Age Classic. So like the game is going to be popular. There will be a lot of players, especially at launch, checking this thing out. Uh, then we have guilds. They're no longer keeping track of the guilds here. Beta testing. Closed beta has officially come to an end. And so a little shout out about what happened in the beta. Very cool here. Open beta. The open beta test will begin July 22nd and end July 28th. So if you want to check it out, you can check it out during those times in the open beta. Patch notes as of July 17th. So again, more changes right here. This one is very, very important. So I talked earlier in another video about the pay to win aspect of our gauge and how even the private servers will probably have pay to win with it. Well, they've, I guess, either heard the feedback from the players or other people or decided against kind of pay to win, but they have these changes here. Regrade changes, regrade charms has been removed from the marketplace. So they were going to sell regrade charms on the marketplace, which is a total pay to win item, right? So now they're going into gold, which is great. This is a big, big change that is very, very welcome. So there's green regrade, blue regrade, yellow regrade charms, right? There's also red regrade charms, but we don't have them listed here. So we don't know where the red regrade charms are gonna be, or maybe they're just completely removed from the game. Who knows? <clears throat> And there's also, I think, the white ones. But I don't know if white ones were available in Classic. But again, it's a custom server with custom roles and different designs. So then they also changed another thing. Items involving upgrading path of the farm cart have been removed from the marketplace. Acquired in-game via other methods now instead. So again, they were going to sell things. And I, you know, I want to say hopefully it was because of player backlash that people were like, hey, this cash shop is pay to win, we don't want it, that they changed it, but I don't know. So post in the comments, let me know what happened. Why did they do these changes? Was it player backlash? Was it player feedback? Or are they just being really, really generous and now trying to have nothing really sellable in the cash shop? Let me know, love to hear from you guys. So these things, farm cart design, 50 gold, farm wagon design, 50 guild of stars, wagon upgrade ticket hauler, 100 guild of stars, red farm hauler fusion, 200 gold, Farm Freight Ticket 100 Gilda. And then also last, Expansion Scrolls. They are still in the marketplace, okay? However, the first three slots of your inventory and warehouse are now free. This means 14 Expansion Scrolls will be necessary to max out your inventory and warehouse to 150 slots each. So big changes. Again, I don't know what's in the cash shop, but they do have a cash shop. And you know, as long as something is tradable and sellable for gold, uh, there will be RMT happening. People will be buying items to sell for gold and selling to other players legally through the cash shop. So there is going to be that play to, pay to win aspect. Regardless of what anyone thinks, as long as there's any tradable items, there will be that pay to win aspect. And if there's a cash shop, it's going to happen. But, you know, to each their own. Have fun. Enjoy the game. You, you can defend it all you want, but it's going to be there. So questing, etc. Uh, we have more quest changes and things. You can read all these things. The gist of this is it's it's a custom server. That's the gist of all this. All these changes are 
hopefully for the better of the game and for the health of the server to last a long time. That's what they're going for. They also have these pre-release packages. So here we go. They are selling, uh, you know, founders packs just like the original game did. And you even got the original costume here, the desert assassin plates, it looks like. And then you got the Oathbound plates, costumes, and then another costume right here. And here is that classic Phoenix glider that they used in the uh, pre-release pre sales. So definitely hitting on the nostalgia there. So 60 bucks, 20 bucks, and 40 bucks. And then a subscription. So they have a Daru subscription. Buff and items expire after 30 days, anywhere in Mayhaw. So the subscription, it doesn't get you more labor or anything like that, right? Labor is already included, 40 labor points per five minutes. It doesn't matter if you're paid or not paid. Subscription don't matter. So the subscription here will get you an Anywhere mailbox anywhere. So you can use the Anywhere mailbox anywhere. You get Daru's Blessing, Language Buff, 50% cast time for all teleports. So it's going to be faster to cast the teleport. And then you get this item, the Daru Trinket. Can be used to purchase cosmetics from a Daru merchant in a Mirage Isle. So it's very, very cosmetic-based and have you know outfits and faster teleports pretty much you don't need this subscription the subscription is completely optional and what people are phrasing it as this is a way to right here it even says daru subscription is optional and not required to play on the classic server it's a way to kind of donate to the server if you want to help and support the dev team that is doing this so i do like their subscription is very very bad and like it only gives costumes and it's you know, definitely kind of like more of a donation thing. So hopefully they don't get greedy and change this in the future and try to make more and more money. But we'll have to see how that shakes out. And hopefully for you guys, the game is fun and exactly what you want out of Arc Age. And you have a good time and it stays around for a long, long time. And you have fun with it. That's the main point is if the community, the people that are playing it have fun with the game. That's all that matters. Like, that's honestly all that matters. Play what you want. Have fun play any game that you want and just have fun like and just enjoy life so got comments down here and etc etc but definitely check out the open beta that is happening soon and yep so july 22nd to july 28th uh, arc age classic so just google that arc age classic and you can find this website I'll also link it down below for you guys thanks for watching as always hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll see you